welcome back to another video and as many of you know we are in La Fortuna and today we did want to show you around so we're going to show you a bit of our first impressions. Yeah we've been kind of cooped up it's been really rainy all week we both work full time still <laughs> we got here at the end of last weekend so now we've kind of got an opportunity to go out mm -hmm. there's been a bit of a break in the rain as you can see in the clouds mm -hmm. behind us it's probably coming back soon but we wanted to take you guys around give you our first impressions on la fortuna you know what before we get into it in the spirit of first impressions <laughs> one of our subscribers b mont or as we call him monty b shout out <laughs> to you monty b uh, you had suggested for us to try a Cuba Libre when we get, got here to Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. You know what? It was a great suggestion. We both enjoyed it pretty good. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I had the like original Cuba Libre, which is like rum and coke. Jess had the mojito one, and it was good. I'm not a fan of uh, Coca-Cola or so. I'm like Pepsi and stuff, so I had to go with a mojito, I'm sorry. Yeah, soda pop's not just this thing, but we found a cool alternative, so had to give that a quick try. Great suggestion, Monty B. And to all the other subscribers and viewers of another channel, mm -hmm. if you have any other suggestions for us in terms of foods we can try, drinks we can try, things we should go and check out while we're in certain parts of the world, please let us know. Put it down in the comments. Put it down in the comments below. We'd like to show off whatever part of the world you're interested in, as well as the activities, foods, and things that you would like to see on this channel. So let us know. So guys, yeah, La Fortuna, beautiful cloud forest town just off the foot of the Edenal volcano, located right in central Costa Rica, well known for the volcano yeah. and the hot springs that feed off of it. And there's just so much to do here as well. Yeah, La Fortuna is a beautiful little town. It's small, but it is very busy. You can definitely tell it is very community-based. We were in town just the other day and we saw the kids practicing the marching band, which was so cool. They were really good. So it's actually pretty cool on our street. Everyone actually has their own little business too. So either have an Airbnb or they have like the tourism company. So it's really cool to see that in people and the entrepreneurial side of that. We really like that. Speaking of entrepreneurial, there seems to be a lot of restaurants in this town and we're excited to go out for dinner. We'll show you guys <laughs> around a couple here. So let's go, we're almost downtown. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so we just got down to Restaurante Fortunino, a real popular restaurant. We've heard really great things, haven't tried it yet, but they serve rotisserie chicken as well as real slow cooked ribs is what they're well known for. Jess is getting one of their steaks because they're also known for that as well. I was really having a hankering for a burger so I ordered the uh, Peruvian burger. Sounds a little bit interesting, excited to try that out, but if you're ever in the La Fortuna area, the, amazing restaurants that you absolutely have to try. We also went to Nanku Restaurante, real cool tropical vibe there, real interesting infusion restaurant with a real cool menu there. And then another one that we strongly suggest is the Lava Rock Restaurant and Bar. Really awesome vibe, they've got some really bright colorful lights all over the place, cool music playing while you're there, they're known for their live music. And they also Part of the proceeds of your meal go towards some of the rescue dog foundations in this area. So we're all for that and strongly suggest supporting that as well. But we're excited for the food to come out here because like we said, we've heard really good things. Can't wait to eat. Let's go. Hola, hola. Hola. Lobito. Spicy. Oh, spicy. Spicy. Yeah. Is that very spicy? Medium. Okay. <laughs> Gracias. Oh, this looks so cute. Yummy. I got a beef loin, sauteed vegetables, mashed potatoes, and a chimichurri sauce. I haven't had a steak in so long. Oh, it's not cooked nice. Okay, I'm gonna try the chimichurri sauce. You will hope I didn't just regret that. That's really good. It's got a kick to it, but it's really good. I love whipped mashed potatoes. Like when I make mashed potatoes, it's like, you know what I mean? So I love when I get whipped mashed potatoes. 
I'm happy. Mm-hmm. It's good. And I got the burger, Peruvian burger. Mm -hmm. Jess always makes fun of me. Yeah. I'm like a little bit of a construction freak when it comes to my burgers. I like to make sure the bacon is evenly distributed. I always add a little bit of extra ketchup up in here. And he told us there's a bit of a spicy sauce. So I'm always up for a little bit of spice. Now I got these spicy peppers as well to add to it. He's crazy. Ooh, you know it. He's like, oops, I put too much on it. That's all right. Let's give it a go. The Peruvian burger. Let's check it out. Very juicy. They've got these like crispy shoestring potatoes on it. Peruvian salsa comes with it, so it's pretty good. I like it. The fries are really good. Just tried them with the Peruvian sauce. You like the sauce too, eh? It's almost like a honey mustard with a bit of pepper. Real good though. Oh, did you just hear that? Get it, get it. Oh, there's the spice. <laughs> Is it spicy? Yeah. Really spicy? Good though, I like it. All right guys, just finished dinner at Restaurante La Fortino. Really great place. I, I love the burger. I love the steak. I haven't had a steak in a long time. The mashed potatoes were whipped. The veg was good. Like I would definitely go back again. Super good dinner. We would strongly suggest it. <laughs> one thing <laughs> one thing we'd point out when it comes to the restaurants here in La Fortuna, might be a little bit odd your first time around, is you'll see dogs just kind of running in and out. Yeah. They are obviously not homeless dogs. They've got like a collar, well kept. Mm -hmm. But it's just kind of part of the local culture where they let dogs kind of come in, eat the scraps off the floor or whatever. We had a little puppy come through right between our legs. It was kind of funny. Yeah, our neighbor's dogs are like that all over the street. They'll just go out. The, the gates are open, so the dogs will just go out and... Yeah, like uh, the neighbor's dog will just randomly go into like someone's house, like someone yeah. else's house. In this, <laughs> Pura Vida. Pura Vida, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, another thing that's really popular here in La Fortuna is the dessert culture. We've seen some really cool late night bakeries with amazing mm -hmm. donuts and pastries. We also had some really good gelato, yeah. a lot of ice cream shops in this town. Again, open late, but I think we're doing something a little bit different tonight. Yes, we are gonna go hit up a coffee shop and get ourselves a cappuccino and a piece of cake. Yeah, Costa Rica is known for its cacao and its chocolates and some of the coffee shops and chocolate shops mm -hmm. here have some of the best chocolate you'll find in the entire world. So definitely a great way to end the day is totally. grab a cappuccino and some little bits of chocolate. Let's, Let's go. go. So as we're on our way over to the coffee shop, just wanted to point out, as with most touristy locations, La Fortuna is no different. There are a lot of shops. And if you guys know Jess by now, everything is cute. She's had no problem finding them <laughs> or finding the cute pieces along the way. But so yeah, if you're looking for some cool souvenir op uh, options while you're here in Costa Rica, you'll definitely be able to find them in La Fortuna while you come. Definitely. I want everything. <laughs> All right, guys, we got real lucky. Got here before it closes, and we got ourselves this cool little booth seat. Real cool coffee shop and chocolate shop here. They've got so many different styles of chocolates and desserts. Got the AC cranked in here, so it's a little bit chilly, but we're gonna have some cappuccinos to warm ourselves up. Let's get it. Oh yeah. Such a good cappuccino. Yeah, great way to end the day. And like we said, there's so many great coffee shop, dessert shops here in La Fortuna. Maybe didn't pick the best town for our waistline, but you know what? That's not why we chose La Fortuna. We were doing so well. Too. We were. We were starting to lose some weight, but that's okay. We can let it go a little bit because we're going to be quite active here, that's for sure. There's so much to do here. We're really excited to share it with you, actually. It's a really adventurous, outdoorsy kind of town. Very outdoorsy. There is tons of excursions to do, paid and free excursions. If you're looking for hiking or zip lining or like going up the volcano, we actually found a tour that we're doing will be the ATVs up the volcano. So we're super excited for that one. Yeah, we've got a couple things yeah. planned. So we've got like a wildlife night walking tour. We've got an ATV tour going up the 
cloud forest towards the volcano. Yeah. We're also got a horseback riding tour towards some of the most iconic waterfalls in all of Costa Rica. But there's so much more than that that you can do here. Like Jess said, Costa Rica is really well known for their canopy tours and zip line tours. Some of the best you'll find in the whole country is right here in the Arenal Valley. And uh, yeah, there's just so much that you can do here. We're really excited to show it with you guys. We are. We love these adventurous activities. The heights, I'm a bit of female, but <laughs> Kyle always dresses. Yeah, me. yeah, no, exactly. And you know, our channel's taken a little bit of a hiatus in the adventures because we had to take a bit of a detour to San Jose, get the computer replaced, yeah. and you know, we've had some kind of travel days lately on the channel. And now, after this first impressions video, we're really excited to get back into totally, some adventures. Yeah starting with the next video on Wednesday so make sure to keep an eye out for that one now if you found this video informational or entertaining don't forget to smash that like button if you'd like to follow those adventures and this journey through La Fortuna and beyond make sure to click subscribe and ring a ding ding dong that bell so you'll be notified of our future videos and until next time bye, bye.